Hi, my name is Greg and I'm an engineer here at Dart Container Corporation. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the manufacturing processes that we use to make products like these. As you might imagine, all manufacturing processes have environmental consequences. But we believe the environmental impact of our processes to make foam cups is smaller than that of the alternative products that are available, such as paper cups. And we have many scientific studies that back up our conclusions. Many of DART's products are made of a material called polystyrene. Polystyrene is a plastic that's made from a material called styrene. Styrene molecules are strung together into long chains to make polystyrene in a process that's called polymerization. Many styrene products are used in automotive parts, in boats, recreational vehicles, toys, electronics, many other kinds of goods. For DART foam polystyrene products, we use one of two different processes. The first is steam chest molding to make our cups. The second is a process of extruding polystyrene and then thermoforming it to make plates, hinge trays, and other kinds of foam goods. I'm here at the beginning of our steam chest molding process. It's a little noisy here, but I'll try to speak loudly so you can hear me. The steam chest molding process starts with polystyrene beads like these that are, they are impregnated with a material called pentane. It's a gas that will puff the bead up when it's heated and make it into a foam. That process is called pre-expansion. Once the bead has been puffed into a foam, it's sent into molds in our cup machines. There, it's heated again, and the heat causes these little beads to fuse together. Once it's cooled, it will retain the shape of the cup. And that's how we make our cups. Here at Dart, products like I have here in my hand, lids, plates, clear trays like this, hinge trays, are all made by processes called extrusion and thermal forming. The extrusion process takes plastic, melts it, forces it through a die into the form of a sheet. The sheet enters a thermoformer, like the one we have here behind me. The thermoformer brings the sheet to the proper temperature for molding. The sheet passes into an area where a mold clamps around it, forcing it into the shape of the product we're trying to make. When that sheet is cooled, the product is trimmed out, and we have the products we desire. That's our extrusion and thermoforming process. Products that are foamed must be foamed using what we call a blowing agent. Blowing agent that we use is normal pentane. Pentane sits inside the plastic and when it's heated it causes it to puff up. Think about popcorn. The pentane is like water inside a kernel of corn and when the corn is heated the water expands causing the, the kernel to puff up into a kernel, kernel of popcorn. It's the same sort of a thing with polystyrene. Dark containers always used pentane in its cups and it has never used CFCs or chlorofluorocarbons. It's never used CFCs or any other ozone depleting chemical in our molded foam cups. For more information about DART or our DART products, please feel free to click on other portions of our website.